my god, here we are again back at this. Did the same thing last year. Legs. Dave Palumbo is going to kill me, I know. Here we go. Palumbo with RX Girl Training. We are here with IFBB Pro Monique Jones here at Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym in Sayas at New York. We're going to be doing a little killer leg training in the off season here. Uh, welcome, Monique. Hey. We're back. We uh, got you here just before you're about to start dieting for the upcoming uh, Tampa Pro. But right now you're in the off season. You're at your biggest and. Uh, we're going to do a leg blasting here, and we know how much you love training legs with me. <laughs> you think? <laughs> you kill me, Dave. You kill me. <laughs> yeah, you, are, you, you, you hate this, and that's why I make you do it, because you've got to always train the body parts you don't like. Cause those, you know what? Sometimes if you, train, if you start training the body parts you hate the most, the hardest, sometimes they become your best body parts down the road. And it, that's true. But, I mean, I do like training legs. It's just you train them differently. <laughs> Explain how I my difference is because a lot of people think they train hard and then they come and train with me and they and they they they, they feel like they've never trained legs before. So what's so different about my training as opposed to what you do at home? Well, that's the thing. Like when I train, I really train hard, so I thought. But you you just train. It's like you take your time. You, it's slower. Um, just those slow twitches. <laughs> they just got me. Well, you know what it is. It was I think, like I felt. It was like I felt like I was just being traumatized. <laughs> well, you know what it is. I think a lot of people don't realize, and this is, you know, this is more of an instructional video, and I think this is important because a lot of people do have body parts that that don't grow, and a lot of times doing more weight or more reps is not really the solution. It's it's slowing the tempo of the, of the training down because when you slow the tempo down, you're, you're you're really focusing on the muscles more. You know, when you're squatting, it's such a multi-joint exercise that you can bounce off the bottom, you can kind of use your back. You know, when you're when you're especially on the negative portion of the movement, when you're when you're really lowering the weight under control, that's when you're getting all the tearing down of the muscle fibers, and that's why I try to slow down your pace a little bit. And obviously, it worked because you you felt the damage being done to you because yeah. you almost would need it to be carried out on a stretcher. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, the difference from last year to this year is really quality of gains because you put on a lot of size from last year. Now you have to really work on the quality changes. And, um, you know, bodybuilding becomes essentially um, an evolutionary process. In other words, every year is the training changes a little bit, doesn't it? It does. Um, I think that. The way I have been training, because I came to you last year, and, you know, and it helped me, uh, you know, evidently, because my legs have changed, uh, but now I think with the different things that you've taught me uh, this past week, me incorporating that now, it will make it an even better difference. Um, yeah, so. Looking at yourself, when you get off from the stage pictures, from you, I mean, you won this obviously the Chicago Pro Show two years in a row now. Uh, you went mm -hmm. to the Olympia. And when you look at your pictures on stage, you have to critically assess yourself. What do you feel that you need to work on? What would you like to see changed from last year to this year? That would definitely be my condition. My conditioning and a little bit more on my legs. I feel like everything else, you know, as far as my size and my, my symmetry, it's good. Just a little bit more on my legs and conditioning. Yeah. Now, we're watching you squat here, obviously. And, uh, you know, I'm having you really lower the weight under control. Um, you have a nice wide stance so that you can come down low enough to incorporate those inner thighs. Because a lot of people don't realize the adductors of the inner thigh muscles make up probably almost, you know, I, 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 I almost think they are like, you know, almost half your leg size. And a lot of people have good front quads, their hamstrings are pretty decent, and they're just missing that inner thigh sweep, especially, you know, uh, taller competitors like yourself. Uh, do, you, do you feel it more when you, when you open them up and I make you come down below parallel? Yes, I, I feel everything more. 
I felt everything. Uh, it's more so of, like I said, when I train, I do put on the heavy weight, uh, and I, you know, I, I go the distance. It's just that slowing it down, you just feel it. You feel everything more. <laughs> you know, also, you have, but if people look at your quads from the show, you have good quad separation, you have good quad muscles. You know, the girth of your leg wasn't up to snuff with your upper body girth, and that's really why I was having you focus on wider stance all the way down. We're on the hack squat now. As you're coming down, people can watch. I have you opening your knees up and just really allowing those adductor muscles to, to, to work, something that usually people don't do. A lot of times they keep their knees close and they throw, and they use the quad yeah. for everything. You, and you, I have done that since I've been back home. Uh, I had a leg day Monday. And I did just that. And I can tell it did make me want to squat even deeper. And it took a lot of the pressure, it seems like, off my knees. So it did help. Yeah, and, and you know, yeah, like I said, you know, for not, this might not, the style or this um, stance, so to speak, is not for everyone, obviously, because if you have good adductors but your quads are terrible, then you'd want to do a, a, a closer stance. So we're just addressing, you know, what your weaknesses happen to be in this instance, and I think that that's important to take into account. But the pace of the movement is important, and I think that if, you, if people are having trouble with body parts or they're stubborn body parts, slow your pace down, allow your body to feel the movement more, especially on the negative portion of the movement. Right, right. Now, uh, talk to me about you know how you push through, you know, because I, I know you like to stop. I, I, you almost stopped, actually, on this last set we did here. And I, I made you do more because you locked it out, and, and and you were able to do more. How do you, you know, what makes someone stop? And then how do you, you know, kind of turn off the pain and go push through it? Because obviously you do have the strength to push through the pain. You you saw it, you saw it right here firsthand. Well, I think you mentioned Iris Cal. <laughs> you did. You mentioned Iris Cal. You said she's pushing it, so that what that's what made me go even harder for it. Now, when you realize that you have that ability to go beyond what you thought you had before, does that piss you off? Because it's almost like you know you're cheating yourself. In yeah, place. yeah, it does. Because you, you like, especially on when I did give up, I was like, you know, I can't do anymore. I was just, I was just to the bottom. And then you said that, and I was like, okay. So just knowing that I can push, push harder on it, you know, yeah, it does. It does make me upset a little. I mean, you, you, and you're packing a lot of muscle on here. I mean, you're, you're definitely weighing more than Iris Kyle's weighing right now. And so, you know, Iris is going to be gunning, for, you know, hard probably that last, you know, 20 weeks before the Olympia. So now is the time to make up, you know, make the gains. And that's what I always believe. <laughs> we're watching you hobble off the machine here. <laughs> I think you were ready to go into the locker room at this point. But this is the point where I wanted to really push you because it's at this point that you have to make yourself work. And that's why we went over to deadlifts because – a lot of people don't realize that the best way to increase your squat strength, and obviously the more weight you can squat, uh, the, the more you're going to allow your legs to grow, is, is to actually work on, the, on deadlifts. And now I'm not talking about rack deadlifts. I'm talking about those deadlifts where you're pulling off the floor, you're using good form, you're not using your back too much, and uh, you know, you're know you working on that bottom of the movement, that, that drive from the bottom. And uh, I think that what you're going to notice over the next couple of weeks is that your squat is going to get much stronger because you're doing these. Now, have you incorporated these into your regular workouts? I did. I did. I put those in, too. Um, not as much weight. I'm still trying to work on the movement itself. But I think once I get that down, I'll be able to take on the weight. Yeah, and the, and the weight is off. You should, probably should have worn some, some uh, wrist straps. You didn't have any with you. But um, no. I got, the wrist straps is, is so that you don't use your back too much. You really want to drive from the legs. Um, I used to do uh, six plates on each side for squats, and then I would go to the deadlift and I would do six plates, you know, just bang out two sets at the end. And, and you know what? When I stopped doing those, my squat wasn't as good anymore. I couldn't lift as much. So they go hand in hand, you know. This, you could use deadlifts okay. for back development. You can use deadlifts for leg development. The way we're using yeah. it here is for, is for legs. Yeah, and I think that might be why my squat hasn't went down because I did take those out. Because I remember last year, Mm -hmm. You put them in, and I did them, and then I, I kind of weaned off of them a little bit, and my squat didn't go down. Yeah, people get lazy. Yeah, that makes sense. And, yeah. <laughs> and anyone who's watching here, you can see, I mean, you can see the glute involvement. You can see your glutes contracting as you pull up, and, uh, I mean, it's, it's a tremendous, tremendous, you know, mass 
uh, increase. And now you're, I, I thought you were going were to hurl all your uh, food all over the place. I'm actually, I actually gave you a round of applause here because it was a tough workout. It wasn't a lot of sets, but it was intense. That was, yeah, it was intense. It was very intense. Like I said, I felt like at one point I just was, was unconscious because I, I wasn't aware it seems like what was going on because you really got me at the leg extension. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was like one of the first things we did. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of pre-exhausted you. <laughs> well, we're going to see more of Monique, obviously, in uh, 20 weeks from today at the IFBB Tampa Pro. From now, we're out of time. Until next week, until next time. This is Dave Palumbo with Monique Jones for RX Girl Training. Oh my God, that leg workout was brutal. I thought I was doing something. Evidently not. We did deadlifts. We did squats. We did leg extensions. We did hack squats. I'm done. I got no more to give. <laughs> <laughs>